Sprint teams up with Spotify and nabs its own version of the HTC One. I'm Jeff Bacalar, in for Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. There's quite a bit of mobile news to cover in today's rundown. Let's start things off with Sprint. The third place mobile carrier made a deal with the streaming music service Spotify. Customers of the Framily plan will get a six month free trial of the mobile version of Spotify. And then after that, they can pay for it at a discounted rate. That starts next week on May 9th. Sprint will also start selling a special version of the HTC One M8 smartphone that will have better audio quality. But the name is kind of a mouthful. It's called the HTC One M8 Harman Kardon. It just rolls right off the tongue. The Harman Kardon brand is a maker of home audio products, in case you were wondering. The phone is said to support HD audio formats and can enhance details of music that are lost during audio compression. Basically, it means that the music on there will have six times as much data as it does on a CD. It'll include a special Harman Kardon earbud, and that will value at $140. The phone hits stores next week, also on May 9th. For the second year in a row, Nintendo is bailing on a traditional E3 press conference. Opting for a change of pace in the way the company delivers news to its fans, followers, and partners, Nintendo will hold a series of events at E3 2014 instead. Nintendo calls this strategy a quote-unquote proven tactic, but I was there last year and I found their presence to be a bit underwhelming. We'll have to see how this year goes. Acer has introduced a new line of PCs and a powerful Chromebook. The products include a Switch 10, which is a hybrid tablet laptop with a detachable screen, an Iconia 1.7 Android tablet, a 23-inch Aspire U5 all-in-one, and an Intel Core i3 Chromebook. Overnight, Apple cut $100 off the cheapest MacBook Air and upgraded the processor across the board. The 11.6-inch MacBook Air now starts at $900, while an entry-level 13.3-inch model will go for $1,100. The processor upgrade will push the Air to a 1.4 GHz Core i5, up from 1.3. This isn't a major update, so it's still possible the MacBook Air will get a total redesign at some point soon. After months of speculation, Lucasfilm and Disney have announced the cast of Star Wars Episode 7. Topping the bill are actors reprising their roles from the original trilogy. Harrison Ford will play Han Solo, Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker, and Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia. Newcomers to the series include Andy Serkis, Oscar Isaac, and girl star Adam Driver. That's your tech news update. You can head on over to CNET.com for more details. From our studios here in New York, I'm Jeff Bacalar. Thank <laughs> you.